And before we jump into this video, I just want to do the usual. So if you haven't already, then please make sure you hit that subscribe button and come along and join my little family. And if you have already hit the subscribe button, then make sure that notification bell switched on just so you're notified of whenever I upload a video. And why not give this video a thumbs up? And now we can get right in. So I feel like it's been a little while since I've done one of these. They are getting a little bit more regular because to be fair, I am tending to use stuff up before I move on to the next products. I've not got loads of products open all at one. My little tub that we keep, um, it's pretty full as you can see. Um, I'm going to go through, I'm going to tell you the good, the bad, the ugly, what I'll buy again and what I won't buy again. And yeah, that's basically how I do my product empty. So if you want to see me go through all of this, then keep watching. I'd say go and grab a cup of tea and maybe some biscuits because we might be here for a little while. So the first product I've got is a um, Asda Moisture Bath Soak. This is the rose one, enriched with candula and rose extracts. And these are so cheap. This one was in aid of Tickle Pink as well, which is obviously supporting breast cancer. These are literally about 50 peach. They're a real good deep for the Radox bath soaks. Um, and I just really, really like them. And I definitely would repurchase more of these. I've tried quite a few of them. There might be another one in here somewhere anyway. Um, and I just really, really enjoy them. So I'm definitely gonna get more of these. Then I've got a shower gel. And this is the Nivea Sun scent shower gel. Love this in the summer. This is the Nivea Love Sunshine. And it's got the original um Nivea Sun scent and it's also got aloe vera in it absolutely love this I love it as a summer scent I probably wouldn't repurchase it now I would buy it again next year though in summer oh, that smell it just reminds me of holidays um if you, oh, I wish you had smell vision you guys will like when you think about Nivea sunscreen that is what this smells like and it's just it's summer in a bottle um I really really do love this and Nivea shower gels are pretty inexpensive and I've pretty much loved every single one I've used so I would definitely buy more of the Nivea shower gels I've really been really impressed with them and um, I just really really like this then I've got a Zoella Beauty um soap opera bath and shower cream really love this this is one of my favorites from her range um, and I actually use this as a bubble bath I don't tend to use it as a shower gel um, and it just creates the most lovely bubbles um, and I just feel like it's nice and moisturizing to the skin unfortunately this is discontinued so it's not something I'm going to be able to repurchase but I would definitely repurchase it if it was on offer i wouldn't pay full price for the product and um, but i do think it's a really nice product then i've got a soap and glory clean girls body wash yeah it's that original yeah i like this it's that original like soap and glory scent so i really really like this on holiday because this has actually got a moisturizing matrix it says built into it so i found that this was really really moisturizing i literally live for soap and glory shower gels in general and um, i've got loads of them on backup because i really 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 do like them and i love these little minis for traveling with and um, i got this kit last christmas and i definitely want to repurchase the one that they've got out this year um because i just find them so handy for like trips away and things like that really really do love that then i've got the carex swizzles drumstick squashy shower and bath gel now i bought this because it was like childhood nostalgia of bubble gum oh, that bubble gum lolly scent love it and i was like oh my god that's so cool i want it and then i started to use it as a shower gel and i'm like mm, this is a bit sickly it's not my really like shower jelly scent so i thought oh i'll use it as a bubble bath but it's not designed for that so it doesn't really give those bubbles or anything so i wouldn't repurchase this scent because it's just a little bit too overpowering when you're using it all the time and um, but i do really, really like carex products and i would buy more from them i think this would be really good if you've got like a kid like an obviously me trying to be a kid but yeah i think it would be really good for like a family friendly shower gel then i've got a deodorant i don't think my product empties would now be complete without a mitchum deodorant because i literally just live for mitchum deodorant this is the um triple fresh uh, triple order defense 48 hour protection powder fresh um, i pretty much love all of the scents they do do an unscented one if you're partial um if you're a little bit you know some people aren't keen on scents they find them a little bit iffy so if you're not partial to a scent then you can get an unscented one but i just really really love the sort of um very very they're really the, the very they're not an overpowering scent and they just keep me fresher for longer this deodorant does keep me fresher for longer so i'll definitely and i already have repurchased more mitchum because i really really like it then i've got a cleanser in here and i have to say this absolutely blew me away this is the soap and glory ultra melt hot cloth cleanser um obsessed with this absolutely incredible cleanser and absolutely incredible cleanser if you um are you know wearing heavy makeup and you want to do your full face in the bath 
insane it comes with a cloth as well um and you can actually i use this on my eyes um it says rinse with water if product gets into the eyes so i don't think it's suggested that you use it on your eyes but with my eyes closed i did rub this over my eye makeup and i didn't get any irritation like it didn't sting or anything like that and it did really help to remove my eye makeup especially um like the likes of me obviously i use bad girl bang mascara for work every day which is a benefit mascara and it's an amazing mascara but sometimes it does get a little bit stuck to your lashes so you need a little bit more give me um to get it off so i'm really impressed with that one then i've got a badidas original indulgent bath jelly um do I need to talk about this? Because you guys know I'm obsessed with this. If you've not tried this already, you need it in your life. Um, unbelievable scent. The greatest bubble bath ever. There's just something about it that just sends me off. Um, I'm actually dreaming about getting in a bath with this now because I absolutely love it. It's not the cheapest of bath soaks. Um, it is normally about £8, I think, full price. But it's just absolutely incredible and it's got the most amazing scent. It's got a horse, um, natural plant extracts and it's got horse chestnut in it. And it just smells absolutely incredible. I love this so much. Then I've got a body mist and this is the Being by Sanctuary Spa Salt of Caramel and Macadamia Body Mist. I've got about three of these on backup because this is my obsession. Um, if you love a sweet smelling, oh, and I mean like sugary sweet smelling scent, you will love this. Um, this is absolutely incredible. One of my favourite body mists of all time. Um, and I've got, like I say, three of these on backup already. You can't get this from Boots anymore. They discontinued it, but Superdrug do still sell it. And I believe you can get it online as well. So definitely look out for this because it's incredible. Then I've got a hair mask. This is the Advanced Keratin Repair Pantene Expert Collection Hair Mask. This is insane, um, especially if you want to give your hair some real nice nourishment and moisture. Um, I just find this mask absolutely incredible. I love it. It just makes my hair feel absolutely amazing. Um, and I have already repurchased these on backups. Just I don't know what much more to say about these apart from it's such an amazing hair mask. Then I've got the Asda Sleep and Relax Bath Soak with Lavender Extract. I keep... <laughs> Whenever I say lavender recently, I keep going to say lavender. I don't know why I... I don't know why I do that. This is amazing. I love the lavender one. I think I prefer the lavender to the rose, but I just love the support of the um, breast cancer, the Tickle Pink charity when you buy the pink one. Um, but I just love lavender, and I just find these create the best bubbly baths and they're very inexpensive and you know they're sort of affordable to most people so i definitely recommend checking these out they're really really nice then i've got a packet of face wipes and this is a first for me for in a while and um, because i stopped using face wipes but these are biodegradable that's the only reason they're in this product empties video otherwise they wouldn't be here and um, these are the ps naturals cleansing wipes they're biodegradable they've got green tea and chamomile extract and they're good for all skin types they're also vegan and um, and they're just these are incredible just the way they remove your makeup is something else they're so so good you get them from primark and um, these are a pound for 40 wipes you get two packs of 20 where with their normal wipes you get 25 wipes but honestly i just prefer this this is insane i hope they make all of their wipes biodegradable and just keep the different types of wipes then i've got another shower gel and again this is the nivea one you can tell i've been loving the nivea shower gels this is the antioxidant and goji berry one really really nice it is very refreshing it is very like awakening this is a really nice shower gel for like on a morning it says that let this caring body wash with cranberry antioxidants nourish your skin with silky soft foam really really like this and really really love nivea shower gels really impressed with them then we've got a toothpaste and this is the colgate natural extracts charcoal white and carbon white um it's got activated charcoal in it i'm sure it comes out black really impressed with this i do feel like it did like whiten my teeth a little bit or it definitely made my teeth feel cleaner um i just love the overall feel of my teeth after using it i know that sounds really strange because we're talking about a toothpaste but honestly i did really really like this and i have actually got some backups of this and i'm glad that i do because it's one of my favorite toothpastes to date then i've got a space mask and i've also got the optrex masks um, and i just want to talk about this for a second i recently tried the space masks and i was absolutely obsessed with them and um, i got this in a beauty box from latest and beauty and i'd never tried them before and i was having this really bad day where i'd had a really really bad i mean a really bad migraine to the point where my eye sockets were hurting and i was like do you know what i need something that's going to relieve this pain because it's really like it, to be fair it was i could have cried it was that bad um and i saw this in my little beauty box and it says that it's a self-heating eye mask which transports you to another earthly dimension it relieves tiredness and eye strain and want as many and many other earthly tensions so basically what happens with this is you take it out and it's an eye mask which you put over your eyes and it warms 
up it's got it ha there must be some sort of a chemical reaction and it warms up on your eyes and it sounds really strange but you need to try these they're amazing but i have actually got a space mask dupe for you so if you can't afford the space masks definitely try these ones and it just relieves my eyes tension it relieved my eye strain it felt amazing you can get these online they're about five you get five masks for about 15 pounds so they're not the cheapest but at the time i was that sold i was like, i need to order these because i need them in my life i was going through a real tough time with tension headaches and stuff then i spotted these in boots the other day with lucy and these are the Optrex warming eye masks they relieve and relax tired eyes they do a normal one or they do a lavender and i got the lavender and it says with micro steam technology used before bedtime and used while traveling it says micro steam technology delivers a gentle warming steam that is designed to moisten and soothe the tired eyes it's air activated self heating masks the single use disposable mask these are 10.99 for eight honestly you need to try these they sell them in boots and they're in the eye care section so where all of your eye mists and eye sprays are they're not like where you would expect to find them this is what the box looks like and if you struggle from tension headaches or migraines i'm not saying they're going to be a cure but they might help so definitely try these out because i just need these in my life i really do i'm going to go and buy some more as a backup because i love them so bloody much then i've got the nyx pore filler primer don't like this not impressed by it not really my and i just don't really i just my makeup just doesn't sit right on top of this once i've used it this is just a mini version i got towards christmas to be fair there is still a little bit left in here but i just don't i'm not impressed with it i don't like it it's not my cup of tea so it's not something i re would repurchase or recommend to you guys i've got the pan 10 one minute rescue ampules and these are really good to help repair damaged hair they're like a hair oil so you warm the oil up and then you run it through your hair and you leave them on for a minute um and honestly they do wonders honestly pan 10 are coming through with the hair stuff these are incredible i've got loads of these backed up because i love them so much um they're just a really 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 good really good product then i've got a nivea micellar air skin and breathe micellar water not percent residue three in one makeup remover loved this i took this away on holiday with me and i found it really really effective um i really enjoyed this i don't like the gel version of this but i love the water version i mean i definitely would repurchase more nivea micellar waters because i found this really effective then i've got the primark false lash queen dramatic volume fullness and length mascara this is supposed to be a dupe for the better than sex mascara and i do like it it is a nice mascara I mean it's only three pound it's really good value I can't compare it to better than sex because I've never tried better than sex before and um, but it is a really good it is a really good mascara I just at the moment I'm preferring more of a you know like a thinner brush that I can really get in but if you like these natural bristles I think this is actually you might not have seen it yet but I featured this in my top five mascaras because it is a real good mascara because for the price you really cannot fall off at the moment it's not something I would repurchase because I've got quite a few benefit ones on the go with me working for benefit but it's definitely up there for the price you really cannot fall off the love of my life recently the creator of these brows what a transformation um this revolution micro blade or micro brow pencil whatever they want to call it i've got none left i've literally used it but it's got the pencil on one side the spoolie on the other i think it's about two or three pound absolutely incredible i need about 20 million of these on backup because i absolutely am obsessed with it i mean look at these brows do they not speak for themselves completely upped my brow game changed my brow game and um, it's a creamy pencil you get 0.08 grams which is pretty reasonable it doesn't sound like a lot but it's pretty reasonable for the price that you're paying um, i know i just love it i just love it i just love the creaminess of it the way it blends out um, and the, just the look it creates obsessed then i've got a new look brow gel obviously new look makeup is discontinued but i just used this up because it needed using up not the biggest fan of it it sort of did the job but if it was still available it's not something that i would repurchase not going to stick around long on it because obviously it doesn't exist anymore then i've got the essence eyebrow pencil this is also a micro precise pencil and um, another really really good cheapy um if you like a really precise pencil this essence one is incredible it's waterproof um and you get 0.05 gram so i think these are about two pound they do these in about three four different shades really really good this or the revolution i do prefer the revolution one but i think both of them for the money you really cannot fall off definitely recommend if you want a thin precise pencil little mini sample of the embrolise lac creme concentrate which is all used up 
obsessed with this one of my favorite primers of all time just creates the most lovely skin to apply makeup on top of and um, it can be used as a moisturizer a mask or a primer and it's just such a great multi-use product then i've got the mac natural radiance base in radiant yellow i did really enjoy this and it sort of gives my skin that glowy skin look without looking greasy because sometimes i think um the primers that are really glowy can make your skin look really greasy but this had more of a creamy texture to it i did really enjoy this but it's not something i would necessarily repurchase really at the moment but it's not to say that i I wouldn't purchase it in the future it's just not not for me at the moment i've got so many primers that i just don't need another one i've also got a mini here of the mac fix plus really really enjoyed using this i do really really like this but i actually am obsessed with the urban decay all night setting spray and that has proven to make your makeup last longer so i would rather use the urban decay one than the mac so again a good setting spray but i prefer the urban decay then i've got a collection concealer don't think my empties would be complete without this because obviously i'm just obsessed with collection concealers this is in the shade fair one amazing concealer and um, my holy grail concealer it doesn't matter what concealer i've used i've always gone back to this it's so cheap so affordable so amazing so fantastic i just honestly i think i've used this from day one on youtube and i still use it now and i still buy it because i love it so much then i've got a dry shampoo this is the misguided collab dry shampoo in girl power i love the fragrance i actually really enjoy this collab one um very collab and then batiste are very similar i do have a little bit more of a loyalty to Batiste. If you're on the lookout for a dry shampoo, Colab and Batiste are both really, really good. Um, this is really, really nice and I really enjoyed it and I would definitely try more from Colab. Then I've got one from Batiste that I didn't actually like and I think this is out of all the products that Batiste have ever launched that I've tried, I think there's only been about two products that I wasn't a big fan of, including this. Um, so that's that's a biggie, do you know what I mean? That out of all the products, there's only two that I'm not keen on and I just think this is more because it's not suitable for my hair type. So this is the Batiste Dry Shampoo Defrizz for hair that's frizzy or flies away and it's got smoothing coconut. I don't have frizzy hair so this doesn't particularly work for me. I think if you were someone who had frizzy hair you would really like it. This is the Batiste range that they sort of did that were designed for different hair types. I love the one that's designed for damaged hair. That was absolutely amazing. I just don't think this is for my hair type. So I wouldn't repurchase this one again, but I would definitely buy from Batiste because I love them. Then I've got two face masks. I've got the Freeman's Facial Clay Mask with Mint and Lemon obsessed absolutely amazing clay mask unfortunately freeman's actually don't sell in the don't trade in the uk anymore they only trade in the us um this is such an incredible clay mask if you're someone who's got troubled skin um, and i would definitely repurchase more from them because i love their brand but unfortunately i can't get hold of this anymore because they don't sell it and then another really good clay mask and i love it that it's in a tube is the seventh heaven dead sea mud mask um, and this is great for oily skin i really enjoyed this it did really help when i had troubled skin and i had any sort of breakouts this is by um, montice janus or seventh heaven i think they renamed themselves there's a tiny little bit left in this but not enough really to do my full face so there's two fab masks but um i won't be repurchasing either of these because i've got a draw full <laughs> then i've got the b3 hydration mania body spray anti-mosquito absolutely incredible and um, if you were going somewhere where you were likely to get absolutely savage by mozzies you need this in your life it's a moisturizer it's got an anti-mosquito scent in it it's just insane it moisturizes the skin which is what you want on holiday because it sort of dries out through the sun but it also keeps the mozzies away i didn't get bit when i wore this big claims but honestly i never ever they didn't touch me when i wore this so definitely recommend it then i've got a this works um sleep plus pillow spray i don't really like know what to say about this other than it's absolutely incredible if you're someone who struggles to sleep on a night and um, i swear by the this works products it doesn't necessarily have to be this one any of their pillow sprays are absolutely incredible um they just send me off or they really relax me and help me go to sleep so definitely recommend them not the cheapest by the way but fantastic and um, then i've got a last but not least i've got a hawaiian tropic sun protection this is the hawaiian tropic satin protection ultra radiant spf 15 i also had the spf 30 but i threw that away when i was on holiday um I like this. It is only a three-star UVA rating. I would try more from Hawaiian Tropic. I love their um, after sun body butters. They do some really incredible products. This did the job for me. I didn't burn when I used it. I really enjoyed it. Um, and I would definitely buy more from them in general because they're just a good brand. Um, but 
there's nothing that really like necessarily me makes me want to go and buy this particular one again if that makes sense anyway guys i feel like i've yabbered on a lot i hope you've enjoyed watching this video and um, i'd love to know what product empties i'd love to know if there's any of the products that i've not really been keen on that you love or vice versa anything that i love that you don't like that would be really really interesting to know let me know that down below in the comments and i shall see you in the next one Mwah. thanks so much for watching